have a 24-inch uh, LCD monitor here. This is an Acer AL2416W. Try to turn it on, and it's just a very brief flicker of the Acer logo, and then nothing. More than likely, just capacitor problems. Uh, so I'm going to pop the back off and have a look. First step on getting one of these apart is a black plastic cover that goes over this. It just snaps in place. Four screws to take the stand off. And then it looks like there's regular screws in each corner there. Shouldn't be too hard to get this one apart. A lot of the newer ones don't use screws and they're, they're all snapped together. But these old, older ones aren't so bad. This was made in 2006. Boy, my camera is really temperamental today. Another familiar scenario here. Underneath the main plastic cover <clears throat> there's another big metal shield with a bunch of screws around it and uh, another one over the high voltage components so let's get those taken off next I'm pretty amazed to see this monitor actually uses good quality caps in the power supply these are United Chemicon um, the inverter doesn't look all too healthy it looks like uh, this circuit over here got a little hot that might be what's going on and then uh, might end up having to order a replacement inverter if that's the case because I don't like to mess around with surface mount stuff too awful much especially when it's when it's that dense but I'm going to check the ESR on all these caps and give everything a once over before I dig into this too much deeper I don't have my ESR meter here so I guess I'm going to have to wait till later in the week but I'll, I'll be doing follow up on this of course well I decided to go ahead and pull this inverter and have a look at it and it doesn't look like the damage is very bad so I might just uh, give it a shot fixing this one because to replace the whole thing is pretty expensive and uh, so far all I can see wrong with it is one shorted MOSFET here that has actually been changed by somebody in the past once already and uh, they didn't change the, the bad capacitors that were here so it probably just that's why it didn't last very long before it went out again these, these four caps here are all bulging out the top and the bottom. It's hard to see on camera, but they're toast. These are all 100 microfarad, 35 volt, 6.3 millimeter diameter. So I'm going to order in some of those if I don't have enough in my stock. And uh, try to cross these MOSFETs to something I can get, get easily at Mauser Electronics or a place like that. And uh, change it out. Hopefully this thing will work. Have me a nice 24 inch monitor for a few dollars worth of parts. And as much as I hate working on surface mount boards, I don't think this is going to be very, very hard to, to redo. I've, I've done a lot worse than this and had no trouble replacing stuff that was soldered on like that. It's not exactly fun because the transistor is actually soldered onto that whole copper plane on the board there, and it, it's, it's hard even when you have a good soldering iron to get those to come off sometimes. but I'll give it a shot, see how it turns out. I've got nothing to lose. Well, the bad parts are all removed now. and uh, Just got to get online and order up some new stuff and also get a can of flux remover while I'm at it. I need to clean this board up pretty bad. But anyway, I'll uh, resume this as soon as the parts come in. Well, I've got some new parts in today for this Acer monitor inverter. I forgot to bring home my flux remover and a couple other things I needed, but uh, I'm going to try to get this worked on at least. Couldn't find exact replacement transistors because they seem to be obsolete, but I've got some Fairchild FDD 4685s here for the shorted P channel MOSFET that was here. I'm going to put that on. Hopefully, the specs are close enough that it'll be okay. And I've got 10 new capacitors as well, so. Uh, let me get these soldered on and we'll give it a test run. Okay, everything is installed now. Got all new caps and a new MOSFET. Normally I would replace both of these as a pair, but since I'm just playing around with this piece of junk, I'm not really worried about it at the moment. If I do need to replace it, I've got the other, other Polarity MOSFET here. It's an FDD8451. So, but first I'm going to try this thing out just to see what happens. I'm not really worried about it. Let me go ahead and put it back in the monitor. I just 
Wish I had my uh, flux remover because it really looks like crap with all that flux on there. Anyway, yeah. Okay, I rarely do this, but I'm going to tape the actual first power up. So even if something goes wrong, you guys will get to see it. I'm going to plug it in and watch and see if something goes boom. Holy crap. It's alive. I don't believe it. Let me get a computer to hook up. Temporary test set up here to let it run for a few minutes before I put it all back together. Actually, I've still got to check all the other caps on the power supply and mainboard as well. But anyway, I just want to run the inverter for a bit to make sure it's going to hold up. I've got a nice long DVI cable going over to my workshop computer. And I'm uh, just going to see what happens here. Gonna have to install the monitor and windows before I can see anything though. Let me take care of that real quick. Check this baby out. It's not running at the native resolution because the uh, other monitor is a smaller monitor and I'm using the clone mode, but so far she looks pretty sweet. Nice color balance and uh, let's see here. Play around with the menu a little bit. Huh, contrast is only 50%. Yeah. And my virus scanner is updating itself. be a nice monitor when I get it all finished up I think and there we have it a free 24 inch monitor I think I spent about two dollars on the parts so not bad I'm just gonna let it run and uh, you know after it, it gets a few minutes of run time and holds up then I'm gonna pull the other boards out and check all the caps on those and because I don't want to put all the covers back on and then have to recap it again later. Might as well just check it while I got it apart. But so far, so good. It looks great, actually. No uh, pressure marks, no scratches, and no obvious dead pixels that I can see. It's going to be sweet. Good thing I decided to check the rest of the caps. All the ones on the power supply are good. They're all United Chemicon, and they're all in perfect condition. But on the main board here, there's a bunch of these cheap caps, and everything from everything that's above this point is bad. Everything along the top of the board here, all these caps are shot. So hopefully, I'm going to have those in stock. I'm going to be really bummed if I got to wait another week just to put this together. Well, you can probably tell I ended up replacing all the capacitors on the main board. They were all that same crappy brand and uh, it's only a matter of time before the other ones went bad as well. The originals were 100 microfarad 16 volt and I replaced them with 25 volt Panasonic FM series capacitors and there was a couple of 220 microfarad 10 volt capacitors that I replaced with 220 at 35 volt United Chemicon caps. I know they're a little too big, I had to lay them on their side but I didn't have any smaller ones in stock and I wasn't about to let three capacitors stop me from finishing this monitor tonight. So let me get this board put back in. Alright, I'm up and running. This monitor fits like a glove on this desk. Probably less than a quarter of an inch to spare on each side. It's perfect for this desk. Just got to get rid of this ugly keyboard sometime in the near future here. But uh, so far so good everything's uh, holding up great MOSFETs are running nice and cool the worst part about this whole repair was probably re recapping the main board actually because I went through my entire inventory of Panasonic FM capacitors and uh, that was kind of tedious but uh, I wanted to make sure it was going to last 
and that that brought my repair cost up a few dollars but I'd say I'm still under ten dollars on this repair certainly under fifteen dollars which is a killer deal for a monitor this big a 16 by 10 aspect ratio 24 inch monitor and uh, she's pretty sweet